In this video, I will explain to you the exact technical failure that is making the new ChatGPT be hated by users and why Google might have turned the game around for good. And I tell you in advance, it is not internet exaggeration. If you think this is just drama, the data shows that the model has a real learning defect. With so many people canceling the subscription to OpenAI right now, I went after the truth behind the scenes and in the technical tests to show you if you are paying for a broken product without the marketing fluff. Let's go straight to the point to understand this confusion. Before I show you the technical backstage of this chaos, get real here in the comments. In the last few weeks, did you feel on your skin that ChatGPT became more stuck and dumb, or have you already jumped the wall to Google and don't look back? I wanna know who here is still insisting on the mistake and who has already canceled the subscription. Thank you for the comment. Now let's get to the fact. When this new version called GPT 5.2 was released to the public, the promise was gigantic. Greg Brockman, who is one of the bosses at OpenAI, the company that created the robot, went as far as to say clearly that this would be the most advanced model that exists to help in professional works and to perform long and complex tasks. Basically, this was their company's answer to the launch of Gemini 3, which is the artificial intelligence of Google. In case you haven't followed this crazy race, Google released Gemini 3 a few days or weeks earlier. The reaction of people was so positive and so surprised that many people canceled the paid subscription of ChatGPT and ran to use Google's tools, which now offers a complete package of artificial intelligence. The main question here is that in theory and on paper, GPT 5.2 should be much superior. If you look at the charts that show the performance and the comparative tests, and here you will have to trust me, the thinking mode of this new GPT should be a step above any other competitor in the market. This makes us ask the question that won't go away. What went wrong? Maybe if you use the tool on a day-to-day -day basis for simple things, you might not notice anything strange. For easy questions, it works well. However, there is a group of people we call power users, who are those who explore the maximum limit of the tool and they realize that the model does not deliver what it promises. And it is not just a vague impression or pickiness. There is a very serious technical and commercial reason for this, which we will explore now. When I went to research to see if this was something in my head, I found a rain of complaints. Of course, we need to filter the exaggeration. There are people saying it is the worst model in history or that it's over for OpenAI. This is drama. They have already created great products and this is not the end of the world, but for sure it is not their best moment. The consensus among those who really understand the subject is that there is something broken or defective in this model. The criticisms are very specific. The model ignores the instructions you give. It forgets what you were talking about before. It invents things that do not exist before answering and it keeps activating the security blocks with a frequency that irritates anyone. Some go as far as to say that the previous model, 5.1, seems to be better and more updated than this new one. And it is not just one or two people complaining, it is a lot of people saying the same negative thing. The most curious thing is that the results in the performance tests are very inconsistent. GPT 5.2 Pro does very well in some tests and fails badly in others. There is a test called Simple Bench, which was designed to ask trick questions, those that require you to really think and pay attention to details, and not just that you have memorized the answer. In this test, the new model came in ninth place. This is very worrying. It stayed behind Gemini 3 Flash, stayed behind old versions of another artificial intelligence called Claude, and even earlier versions of GPT itself. How can a model released months after the competitors have a worse result in basic reasoning? And if you were also shocked by this information and want to understand the why of all this without falling for the marketing fluff, take the opportunity now, leave the like and leave the hype. Do this to show that you are from the team that likes deep analysis, because now I am going to explain to you the technical secret behind this error. 
This takes us to a fascinating discussion about how these artificial intelligences learn. Many people believe we are seeing a classic case of what experts call overfitting or overadjusting. Ilya Sutskever, who is one of the most brilliant minds in this area, spoke about this recently. It happens when an artificial intelligence trains too much with the same examples, and it basically memorizes the answers instead of understanding the general logic of the thing. For you to understand this once and for all, imagine two students at school. Student A studies 10,000 hours for a test. He memorizes every comma, memorizes every possible answer from the tests of past years. He gets the maximum grade on the standard test. Student B studies 100 hours, but he focuses on understanding the logic, developing intuition and the capacity to adapt. In the real world, when a problem appears that never showed up on the test, student A freezes completely because that was not in the material he memorized. Student B, on the other hand, solves the problem. The current artificial intelligence models are acting exactly like student A. They are geniuses in laboratory tests, but limited in real life. There is an academic concept that fits perfectly here called Goddard's law. This law says that when a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. Artificial intelligence companies are so obsessed with breaking records in performance tests that they create specialist models in passing these tests. But that cannot fix a simple computer programming error without creating two other new problems. This explains a strange economic situation we live in. We have models that score 100% in complex math or law tests surpassing professional human beings, but companies cannot extract real value from them in the day-to-day -day work, the efficiency of learning is still low. An adolescent learns to drive in 10 hours and applies this knowledge in any car. An artificial intelligence needs millions of examples and can still fail if the road changes a little. That human capacity to generalize knowledge is missing. Besides the technical part, there is the context of the companies which is fundamental to understand why this launch was done in a hurry. OpenAI declared internal code red when it saw Google's advance. There is a real fear of losing leadership. Remember what happened with Nokia and BlackBerry in the years 2000? They seemed unbeatable, owners of the cell phone market. Then Apple came with the iPhone, had patience, released the right product, and the rest is history. OpenAI does not want to be the next company to disappear from the map. This pressure resulted in a product made in a rush. The site The Information, which is a very reliable source of technology news in Silicon Valley, published that GPT 5.2 is not the finished model they planned. According to sources inside the company, what was released is a checkpoint and intermediate version still in development. They decided to release this incomplete version to not let Google dominate the news and the public's attention. This explains why the model seems focused only on work tasks and fails so much in human interaction or emotional intelligence. It was a response launch, a market defense measure. The good news is that OpenAI itself admitted in a discreet way that this is temporary. There is already confirmation that significant updates will arrive in the first quarter of 2026. In recent interviews, it was said that they do not know if they will call the next version GPT-6, but that there will be a leap in quality. The focus for the final consumer will be to improve ease of use and experience, while the sector of large companies continues asking for more raw intelligence and reasoning capacity. Summarizing this whole story for you, we are using an unfinished product released in a hurry to calm investors and hold the market. It is a powerful tool, without a doubt, but suffers from excess rote memorization and lack of finish. It remains to wait to see if the update of 2026 will bring student B to the game, the one who really understands what he's doing, instead of just repeating what he memorized. Now that the mask has fallen and you know we are using a draft made in a hurry just to calm investors, what is your verdict? Are you going to give this vote of confidence and wait for the correction of 2026? Or has OpenAI lost its moral and Google won your wallet for good? Write your sincere opinion down here because I want to measure how your patience is. So if you prefer to be student B, the one who really thinks and does not let himself be fooled by unfinished products, 
do your part. Leave the like and leave the hype. That way we continue bringing the truth while others only bring the marketing hype. Until next time.